This morning, a new lawsuit looking to pin a deadly shooting spree on head trauma from football. Just over two years ago, Philip Adams killed six people at a home in Rock Hill. Now, a wrongful death lawsuit is claiming South Carolina State University is liable for not doing enough to educate Adams on potential brain injuries from the sport. Wake Up Charts, Richard Vane, now live for us this morning. Richard, you spoke exclusively with his dad, and, and he told you how he believes football could have led to the tragedy. Yeah, absolutely correct, Ben. Good morning to you. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Two years ago, I spoke to Alonzo Adams, and then last year, I actually spoke to him off camera, and both times he talked about the brain injuries that he says led to his son's CTEs. He also says that somebody needs to be held accountable. Apparently, now we know who he's blaming. The father of former NFL player who shot and killed six people in Rock Hill, then turned the gun on himself, filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the university his son attended. Alonzo Adams, the father of Philip Adams, filed the lawsuit in Orangeburg County, South Carolina, last week against South Carolina State University. In the lawsuit, Adams claimed South Carolina State's negligence in educating Philip Adams on head trauma and for failing to provide better protection for players. The suit also says that the head traumas led to CTEs, which ultimately led to Adams taking his own life, something he touched on when we spoke to him right after the incident happened two years ago. He's a good kid. He was a good kid, and he, uh, I think the football messed him up. Yeah, and again, last year when I spoke to him off camera, he also said that it's time that more is done to protect these athletes, and that's the reason he was actually speaking out. Of course, we'll try to speak with him again about the details in this lawsuit. We'll have that sometime later today. But for now, right here in Charlotte, Richard Vane for Wake Up Charlotte. All right, Richard, thank you.